So I wanted to bring an interesting discussion to the table because uh, there's kind of a big growing debate about if the PC or the console is preferred uh, in terms of gaming. And I think, honestly, I think PCs within the next five years could literally replace every console system on the face of the planet. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because as of right now... Um, the cost of PC gaming is getting cheaper and cheaper and console gaming, you know, it's gotten, it's gotten a little bit more expensive, but overall the price hasn't changed. But the big thing is that if you have an Xbox live account or if you're uh, paying to play online with a PlayStation is you have to pay monthly fees. Now, if you've got a PC gaming system, you don't have to pay any of those fees. Um, and people don't realize like how fast, PC gaming is advancing because just in the last, I mean, even just in the last year, like I literally just bought a computer a year ago and I'm looking at what I could have gotten this year if I would have just waited a year to buy a, a computer. Um, and I didn't really have a choice. Like I really had to buy one. Uh, but looking at what you can get now, like if you spend say like 800 to a thousand dollars on a gaming PC, you can literally get a laptop even that is just as almost just as powerful as a PlayStation 4. Um, sometimes just as powerful. So I was super surprised by this. I mean, literally the price of PC gaming system is getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper because that's kind of the way electronics work is as time goes by, the companies figure out cheaper ways to make the same products and it ends up driving the cost down. Uh, also because of competition as well. So, you know, it's interesting because basically the specs on a PS4 is um, it's the equivalent if you bought a PC with a GPU, a graphics card that has about eight gigabytes of uh, memory on it and pretty much equivalent to running uh, a really high quality i7 processor uh on your computer and the end you know even with the processor too i mean you could get away with like a faster i5 or something like that but that's basically the gist uh if you want to figure out some equivalent system for a playstation 4 um and that's similar to what you'd get with like an xbox one as well so I think, though, like PC gaming is probably going to take over the market, and most companies are making their games for PC as well. The one that is totally blowing it right now is EA Sports. Well, not EA Sports, I mean just EA in general. EA is just totally blowing it with the PC market. Now, they've got this Origin platform that you can buy games on, but I've had so many problems with EA games. Uh, I downloaded uh, Battlefield, uh, the Battlefield series for my computer, and it doesn't work on PC. And then I emailed EA, su uh, EA support, and I spent like, you know, I went on like their chat support and spent like an hour and a half, two hours on there, and they didn't fix my issue. Okay, <laughs> so that's how bad EA is in terms of PC gaming. But I really think that PC gaming is going to take over the market. Now, there's a few people that have gotten smart. And they've realized like, hey, we need to put our games out on the PC platform because that's the future. That's where things are heading. And it makes sense, you know, because like you go uh, at least even internationally because gaming is growing like crazy internationally. Uh, most people don't buy consoles internationally. Like they actually, you know, you start getting into places like Asia and stuff like all they play uh, is computer games. Okay, So they've got these high power computing systems. And they'll use it for everything, but uh, a lot of people don't own consoles internationally, and it's starting to grow. You know, we'll see. It's interesting in the U.S. because, you know, obviously we grew up with the gaming console. I mean, it's hard to imagine playing games without a gaming console. You know, Lord help us. But, but this is actually the growing trend right now is that PC gaming is on the rise, and I don't expect... Uh, consoles to hold any water like long term because most of the the way things are heading is uh, it's heading more towards PC gaming, mobile gaming, uh, pretty much everything that's computer related. And you think about it, like you don't really need a console. Like what do you need a console for when you have a PC that can do the exact same thing as the console? Um, so yeah, and I think the big you know, if you get back to cost, uh, the console will be cheaper 
initially until you want to play online. And that's where the PC gets cheaper because all of a sudden you don't have to pay monthly fees. Like I play online all the time. I don't pay monthly fees for anything. Okay. But if you've got a console, you got Xbox Live, you got your uh, account set up with the PlayStation, you're paying monthly fees to have that account. So overall, when you start looking at the the cost over the long haul, you'll actually see that PC gaming is a lot cheaper. Now, the big thing too with PC gaming is that you can upgrade your system at any point in time. So let's just say that you have a PC system, you've got a good cooling system, you know, you got like all the stuff in it, and all of a sudden you want to upgrade your graphics card. Well, you can basically just go out, buy a new graphics card that's compatible with your system, and just throw it in the PC. And, you know, you might have to spend a couple hundred bucks, but all of a sudden you've got something that's uh, upgradable, you know, which that's not the case with gaming consoles. If you have a gaming console, you have to buy a new one every time a new thing comes out. Uh, so anyways, I think that the the PC gaming market, I, I literally think that PCs are going to make consoles obsolete. Uh, and we'll see, like some gaming companies are being really stupid and they're kind of resistant to the PC gaming market like EA in some ways, like they've got like Madden. Uh, Madden is the biggest football franchise in terms of gaming, but they haven't put out a Madden game on PC since Madden 08. <laughs> so it's been it's been almost eight years now since they've put. Well, it's been eight years. It's been almost nine years now. It's been that long since they've actually put a game out uh, for the Madden series on PC. And it's kind of funny because you know like. If you if you look at the PC gaming market, it's like well, if somebody were to come along, like 2K or some competitive company were to put out a football game and actually make it available for PC, all of a sudden EA could literally lose their market share in the market for that game, and that game has been keeping that that game has made them so much money. It's not even funny because every year there's new rosters, there's new teams, and they release a new game. So, anyways, this is an interesting trend to pay attention to. I'm banking on PC gaming becoming the dominant thing. I don't even know if I'm going to ever buy a console. I'm just going to keep investing in uh, more computing power. And I like it too, you know, because if you start spending the money to get a high power computer, not only can you do uh, gaming and all that, but you can do, if you get a, a processor that has hyper threading, you can run like video editing software. You can make really cool graphics stuff. You can do animations on your computer. You can do advanced rendering. Uh, and so you can have a lot of fun with a high powered computer. Whereas with a console, you're just stuck with this thing that all you can do is play games on it. You can't do anything else with it. So I'm much more in favor of PCs. I think PCs are going to take over the market. You can get a lot more power in it. Whereas a console, you're limited. So by the time the next set of consoles come out you know the pcs are going to be right up there even if and they can even be more competitive as well and the other thing you can do with pcs is you can actually link multiple pcs together uh to generate a ton of rendering power so you can literally take like four desktop towers uh link them all up together and basically have them all simultaneously running to generate a ton of power so that's something that you can't do with a gaming system. You can't take like four PlayStations and basically like slam them all together to run some really complex application uh, that requires a lot of uh, processing speed. Um, but you can do that. You can do that with PCs. You can literally take, and I've seen guys do this. I've literally seen guys will have eight eight screens hooked up to like four different towers. And the amount of output, I mean, you can just feel like the heat coming off of this computing system is just incredible. But what they're able to do with that is then when they start getting into like, you know, rendering really crazy physics engines and all that, uh, you can actually pull it off on a PC and you can't pull that off on a gaming system. So anyways, I think long term, though, PCs are going to make gaming systems obsolete. Uh, again, the only downside with the PC system is that everything runs on windows so until you know and, and microsoft is just being a total dick right now you know they've they've tried they're trying to get everybody on monthly fees now for like microsoft office and then every time a new win, you know windows comes out it's just way overpriced i mean most people are 
there's a lot of people just getting rip off copies. Like I actually have a legit license, but there's a lot of people that are getting rip off copies of windows just cause they don't want to pay for it. But anyways, though, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section on the PC versus the console war. I think that PCs are going to make consoles obsolete at some point, but feel free to let me know your thoughts. And again, I, my reasoning is based on just solely the cost aspect because you don't have to pay monthly fees if you have a PC gaming system. So feel free to leave in the comments section.